I'm Jessica Chobot, and many boffins died to bring you today's Nerdist News! <sighs> Considering the amount of rumors floating out there on the World Wide Web, it feels like we already know everything there is to know about Star Wars Episode 7. But you know what's still a total mystery? The Star Wars spin-offs! That's why we've been on the case trying to track down some salacious little Star Wars spin-off crumbs. Did we find some? Find out on an exclusive Nerdist News Secret Report. Nerdist News Secret Report. On the red carpet for Cinderella, screenwriter Chris Weitz finally commented on Gareth Edwards' 2016 Star Wars spin-off, which he was just hired to rewrite. Whites had this to say about the film's tone. Is that fair to say? Are you guys kind of looking to, to bring back a little of that irreverence that we had with Han Solo? I think that um, that, that was such an important part uh, of the first trilogy, the humor and, and the fun of it. Yeah, absolutely. More humor, A eh, Whites? Intriguing. And it makes sense because from what our sources have told us, your spin-off film isn't a Boba Fett-led heist flick as had been previously rumored. Nope. From what we've heard, your film's gonna be about Han Solo. Secret report. Injecting humor indeed. Now while we haven't been able to confirm this fact, nor figure out whether our favorite scruffy looking nerf herder is the lead role, we do know with certainty that oft-rumored Aaron Paul will be the lead in the film, with previously confirmed Felicity Jones in more of a supporting role. Secret report. But, if the 2016 Star Wars spin-off isn't Boba Fett, then when will we see The Mandalorian next? I mean, we all know he's gonna get a movie. Well, look no further than Josh Trank's 2018 spin-off. And apparently we'll all know this with certainty soon, as Trank and Edwards have both been working with Disney to create little teasers from the films. Why? The plot begins. Secret report. Word is an event is coming, maybe Star Wars Celebration, maybe D23, maybe even Comic-Con, where the cinematic future of a galaxy far, far away will be laid out in full, like Marvel did with Phase 3, which fits with what Star Wars writer Simon Kinberg told our man on the red carpet. The way that Lucasfilm works is amazing. It's probably similar. The only thing I can compare it to is Marvel. That's right! With the big announcement, we'll see teaser clips announcing the spin-offs, and maybe even learn a little something about Episode 8. Secret report. While we haven't been able to independently confirm what our sources said, we have a strong inkling they're quite right. Plus, it's like super fun to speculate. So tell me, what do you guys think, Padawan learners? Is Josh Trank a better pick to helm a Boba Fett flick? Do you think a young Han Solo movie is a good idea? Do you buy Jesse Pinkman as a space-faring anti-hero? Cause I don't. But let's discuss. Leave your comments below. Click on my fedora to subscribe to the Nerdist channel. Malik is missing the days of EA Big on play. And head on over to Nerdist.com for even more Nerdist news. <coughs> oh, this is so much smoke. <laughs>